March, March 2020, the tourists uh, started to arrive to Israel. I'm standing in front of the entrance to the tomb of Virgin Mary. According to so many, including the Greek Orthodox, the uh, Orthodox um, <coughs> churches, and the Armenian, of course, and a lot of the Catholic um, that believe that this is the tomb of Mary. You can see a lot of uh, Muslim women going out of the church, uh, mainly because Mary, Maria, Maryam in Arabic, is very important for uh, the Muslims as well. There are two chapters of the, in the Quran that talks about Mary. But I'm now um, visiting the church with you, uh, the remains of the Crusader Church, together with two crosses of E.J. and Dr. Rudovsky, a um, very famous vet in America. And um, let's hit the road. But before that, we can do that while we are walking. Um, we, I mean, the Bible never told us what happened to Mary, the mother, after Pentecost, and before she met Joseph. Vergilion from the second century talks about it, and so many believes in it, especially the Catholic believes in it as well. Uh, Greek Orthodox and Armenian and so many others, Protestant. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm almost sure that not. Then the idea is that Mary was visiting Mount of Olives, and we are at the slopes of Mount of Olives. We are at the Kidron Valley. And, um, and um, an angel came to her and said, in about three days, um, you will fall asleep slash die. And she went to her house at Mount Zion. The Dormition Church is now built on top of it. And um, the disciples who've been in Israel came to be with her three days later. And Jesus took a soul and then they bury her here at the uh, Kidron Valley, which was, uh, it's still a um, um, Jewish, Jewish cemetery. And three days later, in August 15, uh, Jesus took her body. Then the sarcophagus is, is empty. And let's go into that church. Catholic Church will tell you that it used to be um, a Crusader Church. It used to be a Catholic Church, but it was built originally at the fifth century, many years, hundred years before. Today, it's owned by the Greek Orthodox. They won't let me talk a lot. Then I must be quiet. There are forty-nine stairs. We will take you to the level ground. Uh, and you can see that it's massive. It was built by the, uh, by the crusader as a fortress, not only as a church. The upper part of the church been destroyed. And the lower part of the church, uh, the Muslims kept it, mainly because they believed in Jesus. At the right side, in that small chapel, uh, according to the belief, the mother and the father of, of um, Mary, were buried, and the left chapel it's the tomb of Joseph Joseph of Mary Joseph of Nazareth What you're going to see there is a sarcophagus, kind of a small adicula. The inner part, and I will try to enter, uh, you in, in it you will see the tomb itself. Oh no, it's open, but they are meeting today.
you can see to the left the soul of Mary in the hands of Jesus. Let's bless it in next to the most important icon of Mary. Yeah, we were the last one. Yay! Yay! Good for us. That was a quick tour. If you want to have your own crosses, there's it's not a problem. I'll go into the description of my video and look for buy me a coffee link and it will have all the information, including different kind of crosses, the Bible as well. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and have a great day. Thank you very much. <laughs>